Good evening, everyone, and welcome to yet another episode of What on Earth Are We Eating? <laughs> Tonight, we're going from farm to table, or should I say, from farm to empty table. As we all know, UK agriculture has been struggling lately. From Brexit to the pandemic, it's been a buffet of bad news for the nation. Heck, at this point, it's like playing a game of food shortage bingo. Pigs stuck on farms, crops left to rot, and avian flu taken out the egg. Our supermarket shelves are emptier than politicians' promises. Huh. <sighs> That's the national farmers you ain't doing right. Not a tiny TV. Call on a farmer, scary a TV. So what do farmers want? Action, not words. Yeah, good luck with that, folks. They're asking for a statutory duty to report production levels and support for supply chains. <clears throat> All I want is to buy my lettuce without feeling like I need a treasure map to find it. Inflation is through the roof. Thanks, Putin. What a guy. Now, we have the three Fs plaguing agriculture. Feed, fuel, and fertilizer. I won't even mention the scarcity of workers across the UK. Meanwhile, Keir Starmer steps in with his bold plan. Half of all food bought by the public sector will be made locally and sustainably. And I can't wait to see my co-worker's confusion when she bites into a dorset pineapple. Oh, excuse me, you'll need a fork for that because it's our reliance on foreign imports has never been more apparent, from tomatoes to lettuce. I mean, I can only dream of the day I get to see a cucumber on a supermarket shelf again. Well, you know what will surely save the day? The food summit. People from varying interests, fighting hard to get their slice of the pie. <laughs> Good luck, everyone! Let's just hope it doesn't become a food fight at Downing Street. This podcast is brought to you by AI Pictures.